I don't want to go to sleep not knowing like something may happen. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's bad to think about. I'm not gonna lie. I'm and I've been scared ever since. A former IU basketball player is on the road to freedom at this hour after spending several days trying to escape Ukraine. Now, as we've reported, Maurice Mo Creek is playing basketball overseas and couldn't flee the war zone. CBS 4's Courtney Crown joins us now in the studio with the story of a Romanian woman who played a key role in his escape, Courtney. And tonight, Bob and Lindsay, she is calling this a miracle. And as the saying goes, it's all about who you know, and that's what it took to get Mo out of Ukraine. The only thing we all can do right now is just stay prayed up. When we spoke with former IU basketball player Maurice Mo Creek late last week, he was in his apartment in Ukraine terrified. So much traffic outside. It's just everybody's trying to get out. Everybody's trying to move. Everybody's trying to get safe and sound. And, you know, I can't I can't even get a driver to get to the border. <laughs> Mo needed to get to the Romanian border, enter in Chris Kubeka, who just crossed the border from Ukraine. I have a friend uh, in Indiana who is part of a special forces or former special forces club, and one of his friends knows Mo, and they contacted me uh, at 4.30 something in the morning. Chris said Mo was in a very bad spot in the war zone. Russians one way or water uh, that you were not allowed to cross because of military purposes on the other side. So he was stuck there. She explained how she and another contact helped Mo survive in Ukraine. I had to do things like uh, send him instructions on how to build an improvised flak jacket. Misha, he um, had to teach him over the phone how to siphon gas. Mo needed a driver willing to transport him from Ukraine to Romania. A miracle came through Chris's contact, Misha. Misha actually found a contact of a contact of a friend uh, who offered to not only drive him to the border, um, but also he got this special permit that you needed to cross the bridge um, as a man because they're keeping all the men inside the city. Mo is now hours from freedom and Chris got to speak with him. I said, it sounds like you're in a car. And he goes, I'm in a car. And I'm like, oh my God, are you serious? You're in a car. Just a little silver lining there, certainly a huge silver lining for Mo. Chris tells me she has a hotel room ready for Mo's arrival, and she expects that to happen by tomorrow afternoon. So he does still have a long journey ahead of him. In the studio tonight, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News.